What was the largest mammalian carnivore that ever lived? Various prehistoric contenders have tried to hold the title, ranging from Sarcastodon, Megistotherium, Amphicion, Simba Kuba, as well as the legendary Andrew Zarkas. Other large mammalian predators, such as the enormous South American shore-faced bear, would have grown to even larger proportions than these guys. However, unlike them, it was an omnivore and wasn't a true carnivore. And as a result, in this video, we will only be referring to hypercarnivorous mammalian predators. Alright, so without further ado, let's go through the list. Sarcastodon, which have previously been estimated to have weighed as much as 1800 pounds, has recently been downgraded in size making it only around the size of a large lion or tiger, and as a result, isn't even close to becoming a contender. And in the case of Megistotherium, as well as Simba Kubwa, based on a comparison of the two animals' skulls, both our animals are probably around the same size, and in the case of Megistotherium, it had recently been downgraded from 880 kilograms to 500 kilograms which, if turns out to be the case, would make both of these species around the same size as the modern-day polar bear. Alright guys, so now let's skip over to Amphicyon. So the largest member of Amphicyonid wasn't actually Amphicyon itself, but was instead a closely related genus known as Pseudocyon. Based on mass estimates derived from the mandible, this animal is estimated to have weighed around 773 kilograms, which, if turns out to be true, would make it around the same size as a very large polar bear. And lastly, we have our final contender, Andrew Zarkas. This animal is a lot harder to determine its size, as it's only known from the top part of its skull. Theorized body shapes for this animal have ranged anywhere from a wolf-like body all the way to an entelodont-like body. However, even with an entelodont-like body, this would still make it an extremely large animal, comparable in size to the largest members of the entelodont family. So which one is the largest hypercarnivorous mammalian predator that has ever lived? Well, personally guys, in my opinion, it's probably a toss-up either between Androsarchus or Pseudocyon. Body mass estimates have varied anywhere from 800 to 1,000 kilograms for Androsarchus, whereas in the case of Pseudocyon, it's around 770 kilograms. However, there's a little bit of a problem with crowning Andrew Zarkas the title for largest hypercarnivorous mammalian predator that ever lived. The question is, was it actually hypercarnivorous? Some people have proposed that like in telodonts, Andrew Zarkas may have been omnivorous. However, I do have to say that I have some doubts on that there, because when I compare its carnassials, molars, and incisor teeth to that of entelodonts, as well as other herbivores and omnivores, the back teeth doesn't form a perfectly flat surface, which is what you would expect an omnivore to have. Another interesting thing to note is the incisor teeth of Androsarchus are actually quite peg-like and they're recurved, just like the canine teeth are which is not really something you would expect an omnivore or a herbivore to have. When we go to look at omnivores as well as herbivores, the incisor teeth are flat and they're almost fingernail shaped, which is a good shape for pulling out plant material like grasses as well as leaves. However, the peg-like shape of Androsarchus's incisors wouldn't be a very good shape for pulling out plant material, which is why I suspect that it was hypercarnivorous. So in conclusion, if I was to decide who is the largest mammalian carnivore, that ever lived, I would probably either crown Andrew Zarkas or Pseudocyon as the largest hypercarnivorous mammal, with me personally giving a slight edge to Andrew Zarkas. However, if Andrew Zarkas does turn out to be an omnivore, I would have to give it to Pseudocyon instead. This is King Theropod, signing out.